This video will literally blow your Hey and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna have a little bit of fun with DaVinci Resolve. And we're gonna look at how you can improve your videos using alpha channel overlays. Simply put, the alpha channel in a video is a scale of opacity. It defines how translucent certain parts of a video are, down to the black end of the spectrum, which is completely transparent. So alpha channel videos are very much like a transparent PNG file, but for video. Using alpha channel overlays can really level up your videos. They can be used to emphasize a point or add some special effects. You may want to use a rain overlay to signify something really sad, or add some lightning special effects, or simply break your camera. So while I'm having a bit of fun in this video creating an obviously fake explosion, you can also use alpha channel overlays to create really realistic effects. The first thing we need to do is source our alpha channel video overlays. I personally think Envato Elements has some of the best quality overlays available. Here you can simply search for the theme you want and filter for alpha channel videos. I'll leave a link in the description for Envato Elements. So in the meantime, let's jump into DaVinci Resolve and I'll show you how to use alpha channel overlays in your videos. And we'll do that by blowing stuff up because Blowing stuff up's fun. So here we are in DaVinci Resolve Studio. So I'm going to recreate my exploding head scene. First, let's come over to the media pool so I can see some of the assets that I've downloaded here. For these videos I got off Invato Elements. Let's have a look at the first one, which is our main explosion. I can see that. And again, because this is an alpha channel video, the black in the background is effectively transparent. And I can see that if I come back to my timeline here. And if I pull this explosion video over my current timeline. We can see it's actually transparent. So in this case, I want to mask out my head to make it look like my head's been blown off. And to not make it look completely ridiculous, I want to fill in the area a little bit around my neck that I'm going to cut out. So I downloaded this rising smoke, again from Invato Elements, and this should do what I want it to do to better just cover up that area around my neck. So first I'm going to show you how I've done this raw shot in the first place. So I'm just going to play this through. We start with me saying this video is going to blow your mind. This video will literally blow your mind. And now what I try and do here is just sit in a pose without moving too much. And this is going to be the section where I'm going to be headless. So just before I move my shoulders there. Here I'm going to make a cut. Now I'm going to go forward to where I'm out of the shot. Make another cut there. Excellent. So this bit in the middle we can get rid of. And we can drag this. So now I'm going to cut out the bit where I actually say the word mind. This video will literally blow your uh, There's good. Mind. That, and we get rid of that completely. So this section here is where I'm going to cut out my head, and I want to better see the background behind that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take both of these videos and move them up to a higher track and bring in the background underneath that video. Also want a little bit more time on this section here, so I'm going to decrease the clip speed. It's about half, about 60% for now. Same with this one. So in this clip here, I want to have my head removed and I'm going to do that by going into the fusion page and adding a mask. Now, this is the only time we're going to go into fusion in this video, so don't worry. And it's very, very simple. So I'm going to head over here into fusion, make this a little bit bigger. So what I'm going to do here down in my nodes is I'm going to click on the background so I don't have anything selected, hit shift space and add a polygon. And then with that polygon, I'm just going to highlight everything that I want in shot when it comes to my body. So I can come slightly out from where my arm is here. And I'm going to add quite a rough outline here. And as we get towards my neck, I'm going to start being a little bit more accurate. 
So I kind of want to mask down here and I want some of my neck to be still in the shot. And back to the t-shirt here, I can afford to go a little bit more general. Down here, I just slightly off the main video and reconnect my polygon. It's also worth noting that as I move through frame by frame here, if I spot that I move significantly, I can actually alter the polygon to follow that movement. But in this case, I've kept it simple and I've made sure that I'm sitting really still. So I don't think we need to do much there at all. So I'm gonna connect this polygon now. And I'm literally just gonna connect it straight into my media in here. And boom, there I have my mask. So if I quickly flip back to the edit page, I can see that my head is no longer there, but we've got these kind of very jagged lines around my neck and we've got a slight light difference at the background here. And I can kind of solve that by just coming back over here into my fusion tab, clicking on the polygon. And then over here on the right, I can just add a soft edge and I don't want to go too far with it. We want something about just a smidgen up about 0 0.02 here. And I can just flip back here to check that. And we can see by adding the soft edge, then we've removed that harsh difference between the lighting over on the right here and I don't have such a harsh neckline. So that's all we're gonna do in Fusion. That's a really basic mask, but for this demo, we don't need any more than that. So what I'm now gonna do is start bringing our explosion into the mix. So I'm gonna bring my explosion video down here and I'm gonna add it above my main video. This explosion starts off quite small and I actually want it to cover the entirety of my neck before my head disappears. So I'm probably gonna start it around here. So let's just cut that. Now I'm going to move this and resize it a little bit so I get something where I don't notice my head disappearing. See how that looks. Probably bring that up a tiny bit. You're just a tiny bit bigger. Yep, that looks good to me. So as the explosion passes, this looks completely unrealistic down here. So this is why I wanted to bring in the rising smoke overlay. So I'm going to drag that in, but I'm going to drag it in under my masked clip. So we're going to bring it down here. And that means it's coming from behind my masked clip, so it won't be in the foreground. And we're going to play around with positioning and the size. So it kind of fills that area up and you don't notice too much my mask. Again, we're not aiming for perfect here. One thing I do notice though, is as the explosion's coming off here, then we can see the smoke in the background. So we don't want that. So I'm gonna come over to the beginning of the clip and we're just gonna add a keyframe here for cropping and crop the top right way down. And we kind of wanna grow it with the explosion. So let's just frame forward. So the explosion reaches that top area here. Add another keyframe. I can take it to and take it just to where it's visible here. There are a few more frames. And about here, we can then add another keyframe and remove the crop altogether. Let's see how that looks. Good enough of this demo. Tidy up the ends here. So let's go and have a look at that from the beginning again. This video will literally blow your... Visually, that's the effect that I want. So here we've got a setup with a very basic mask and we've got an overlay video in front of it and an overlay video behind it. And the two together give a kind of fun effect. But to really sell this, we want to add a couple more elements. Firstly, we want some audio in this. So I found this sound effect on artlist.io, which is where I get most of my sound effects. I'm going to pull this down to an audio track here, let the volume down slightly, and see how that sounds. Your yep, that's cool. Let's watch that back from the beginning again. This video will literally blow your... So we're nearly there, but one thing that's going to add a little bit more feeling to this scene is we're going to add a, a camera shake effect. So we're going to come over here and get an adjustment clip and pull it over the entire section. 
above everything to the end of the video. So starting at the explosion and going down to the end of the video. Here we're going to come over to our open effects and just quickly search for shake. So we're going to pull the camera shake over the adjustment clip. Now obviously we want something a bit more dramatic than that. So what I'm going to do is come over to the beginning of the adjustment clip and we're going to add a keyframe to motion scale and speed scale and motion blur. And we're going to ramp these up all the way. That means everything starts shaking a lot more violently and a lot quicker. And then towards the end of the explosion, about here, where I think we can probably calm it down. So we're going to add another keyframe. I'm going to take all of these down to nothing. Your that gives us a slightly more sense of realism. Let's play this once more from the beginning and we can see the effect in action. This video will literally blow your So now the very last thing we want to do with this is to add one more visual effect and that's at the point of our explosion we want to change the lighting a little bit in the scene. And the easiest way to do this is just to use the bright flash transition. And I'm going to align that at the beginning of the clip where my head explodes. Probably only need it to be a few frames. Let's just see how that looks. Oh, your Even a tiny bit shorter. Your And there we go, we've got visual lighting effects, we've got the camera shake, we've got the overlay videos and sound effects. So that's how we use overlay videos in DaVinci Resolve. So that's it from me. If you enjoyed this video, then please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe.